With so many great SUVs on sale in 2021, the hardest choice to make when buying is just knowing which option is best. So our editors have done the hard work for you, driving nearly every new SUV available, from big to small to luxury to affordable. These are the best SUVs for 2021. As we get started with our best SUVs list, we'd like to remind you to please subscribe to the channel so that you don't miss any of our first looks, reviews, or special original content. And to see a list of every new car that we review, click the link in the description. The Hyundai Venue is the total opposite of what comes to mind when you think of an SUV. It's small in both stature and cost, with the base price of just $18,750. Despite that, the Venue is fun to drive and comes packed with safety features including automatic emergency braking and lane keep assist. Powered by a 1.6 liter four-cylinder engine producing 121 horsepower, the Venue isn't going to set any new lap records. But with 32 miles per gallon combined, this tiny SUV's return is more than a fair trade-off. If you're searching for something small and fun that has plenty of cargo space, the Venue is the mini SUV for you. Here's a clip from our first drive review. Here's the biggest compliment that I can pay this car. The Hyundai Venue is a good car, plain and simple. But when you consider its price point, it starts at $17,350 for the manual. This one, which is loaded with just about every option you can put on it, is just a hair over $23,000 with destination. At that price point, it's a great car. In fact, it's probably the new standard for the class. The 2021 Ford Bronco Sport shares a platform with a similar sized Escape, but that's where the similarities end. The Bronco Sport is outdoor ready with almost nine inches of ground clearance available. The Sport comes standard with a 1.5 liter turbocharged three cylinder, but our pick would be the Badlands trim, which comes with a two liter turbo four, packing 250 horsepower and 277 pound feet. The little SUV also comes with a more rugged interior and some decent tech with its large center touchscreen. The Bronco brand is coming back big time and it's the sport that's leading the charge. Take a look at it off-road during a recent comparison test. That's the finish line, 92 miles per hour, but it's not enough. Bronco Sport got me by a few seconds. This is, this is sporty, this is actually fun to drive. So I, I'd be hard pressed to pick a better you know, compact off-road crossover than the Bronco Sport, just based on, based on that experience. This was a lot of fun. Speaking of pint-sized SUVs, the Mercedes-Benz GLA was one of the first luxury examples when it hit the market in 2014. In the five years since, the second-gen GLA has changed a lot, enough to make it our favorite luxury subcompact SUV. The entry-level GLA 250 comes equipped offering 221 horsepower, while the sportier AMG 35 variant brings a hotter turbocharged engine with 302 horsepower. The 45 AMG pumps out an even more impressive 382 horses with a fantastic driving character. We also love the GLA's relatively low cost of entry, starting at just $36,230. Ever since its launch in 2007, the Rogue has established itself as Nissan's best-selling crossover. The brand hopes to keep the ball rolling with the recently launched 2021 model, and we see no reason why it shouldn't continue the trend. The new Rogue checks all the boxes with attractive styling, a comfy interior, and decent driving dynamics, even with its CVT and 181 horsepower. However, with the car's killer tech and well-appointed cabin, the Rogue is certainly one of the best buys of the year. As the aforementioned GLA's older sibling, we'd expect the Mercedes-Benz GLB to offer much of the same in a slightly larger package and this boxy boy definitely has delivered. The GLB lives up to the title Luxury SUV with Mercedes' awesome MBUX infotainment system, dual 10.3-inch displays, and gorgeous ambient lighting in the cabin. Also like the GLA, the GLB is offered with several engine options, offering up to 302 horsepower. At a base price of just $38,050, the GLB offers a lot, making it our favorite luxury SUV on sale. Moving up a class, the 2021 Kia Sorento brings three rows of seating to the party. Think of the Sorento as the Telluride's slightly smaller sibling, although with its slick styling, LED lighting signature, and optional X-Line package, Sorento buyers don't have to compromise. In the cabin, there's premium materials throughout, like cross-stitched leather and matte wood paneling. 
The Sorento's pricier trims come equipped with a 10.3 inch touchscreen, while the more budget conscious offerings pack an 8 inch display. Although the Sorento comes standard with Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. This Kia is powered by a standard 2.5 liter four cylinder engine, pumping out 191 horsepower. Although we prefer the much more powerful optional turbocharged version, which has 281 horsepower. No matter which trim you choose, the Sorento has optional all-wheel drive for $1,800 should you want to take it off the beaten path. In more ways than one, the Sorento scratches the surface of a luxury SUV, but keeps its pricing for the people. Now, in case it isn't totally obvious, the 2021 Kia Sorento is a fantastic daily driver. From its updated looks, the premium cabin, and the surprising amount of performance, the Sorento has far more strength than it does weaknesses. For a true luxury midsize SUV, however, look no further than the 2021 Audi Q8. This super sleek four-door coupe comes with Audi's signature tech-heavy interior. The Q8 comes standard with Audi's virtual cockpit digital instrument cluster and a 12.3-inch MMI infotainment display with an extra touch-capacitive screen for things like the AC controls. Under the hood, you'll find a turbocharged 3.0-liter V6 with mild hybrid assist, good for 335 horsepower and 369 pound-feet, with quattro all-wheel drive coming standard on all trims. Speedier alternatives come in the form of the SQ8 and its 4-liter V8 with 500 horsepower. Sportier still, the RSQ8 is good for 591 horsepower and a blistering 3.8 second 0 to 60 time. All this fun comes at a cost though, as the base price for the Audi Q8 starts at $68,200. Even with the hefty price tag, the Q8 ticks every box we want on a mid-size luxury SUV. Circling back to Kia SUVs, the 2021 Telluride has been getting rave reviews from consumers and media alike. The Telluride takes everything that makes the Sorento great and throws in some extra room, more utility, all without compromising on styling or materials. And the Telluride's base price is $32,190. That's less than $3,000 more than the base price of the Sorento for a bigger SUV. The Telluride comes with the Sorento's bigger engine option standard, generating 280 horsepower and a tow rating of 5,000 pounds. The SUV offers an identical tech package with an 8-inch touchscreen standard or a 10.3-inch touchscreen on certain higher trims. It also comes with automatic emergency braking, lane keeping assist, blind spot collision prevention, and adaptive cruise control, which combines into Kia's excellent highway driving assist. As to be expected for an SUV of this size, the Telluride offers a great 21 cubic feet of cargo space with the seats up and 87 cubic feet with them stowed. For families looking for a spacious, comfortable SUV, you can't go wrong with the Telluride. Lincoln has had a total resurgence in the last few years and the 2021 Aviator is one of the best examples of this. With a contoured exterior design and a mid-century modern interior, the Aviator is luxurious in all the right places. It's not all about design for Lincoln though. The car maker goes above and beyond with 30-way seats, a quiet cabin, and a mind-blowing 28-speaker Revel audio system. There's also an available plug-in hybrid for some added efficiency. With a relatively affordable base price of $51,570, the Lincoln Aviator is a great option for buyers looking to make the most of their money on a three-row luxury SUV. For those who need the biggest and best in luxury, the 2021 Mercedes-Benz GLS stands above the rest, including the BMW X7. The GLS's variety of trims and options gives customers a huge array of choices to create their ideal vehicle. The entry GLS 450 offers plenty of power and much of the same driving experience, although the V8-powered 580 model is our favorite. If either of those aren't special enough, the GLS 63's heart-pounding AMG kit is astonishing to drive, while the GLS Maybach is the most luxurious SUV in the world, short of a Rolls-Royce or Bentley. The GLS really is the best or nothing when it comes to Mercedes-Benz's lineup of SUVs. When I think Maybach, for me, that's always going to be a big, imposing sedan on the road. And the GLS didn't change my mind on that. But in a world where the Bentley Bentayga, the Rolls-Royce Cullinan, Aston Martin DBX, and all of those others are starting to pop out of the woodwork, you can see why there was a very clear business case to build this car. And having spent the last few days driving it, I don't think they're gonna have a problem selling every one that they make. 
the latest generation of Chevy, Tahoe, and Suburban stepped up its game big time. The exterior design evokes the Silverado pickup, and the interior offers plenty of space and legroom all the way back to the third row. The Tahoe Suburban range is offered with a variety of engine options, but we'd opt for the 6.2 liter gas-powered V8. Our editors love the available air suspension, which keeps the ride nice and floaty, even with a family on board. With the base price of $49,600 for the Tahoe and $52,300 for the Suburban, the pair of SUVs gives buyers the ultimate tool for family transport with some off-road capability. That rounds out our list of the best SUVs on sale in 2021. For more car buying information, check out the rest of the videos on our channel and head over to motor1.com for the latest on all things automotive. As always, thanks for watching.